you are at the right place if you are looking to pass your driving test in Sweden or in Europe anywhere any countries in Europe so in Sweden it is also called sore coat or sore prop or also upsorning so sore coats with building or sore coats fragger so in Swedish driving test one of the most important section is city driving and today in this video all the possible dangers of city driving pointing out all the important tips and tricks there are numerous topic will be covered in this video so don't skip any part of it because Swedish driving rules including parking right hand rule driving driving in residential areas left turns right turns changing lanes selection of lanes pedestrians crossing major roads what are the speed limits and many more so without any further delay let's go to key to dl means key to driving license welcome to key to dl for another interesting video and this is all about city driving so that you can so that you can enjoy this video and learn about city driving and pass your or take your circuit Likatil for your sore prop so when you take your car out of a parking space in a residential area you need to be very very careful about many things come outside and check to make sure your surroundings are clear because kids are often unnoticed with cameras and mirrors check all the mirrors indicate and slowly exit make sure you check your blind spot while you take the exit or while you take the left turn or right turn or go from the parallel parking in order to learn more about how to pass your driving test or how to become a safe and risk free driver watch this video until the end Uh, at this intersection right turn rules applies or right hand rules applies as you can see the visibility is poor go slow and take it easy in this scenario now after this turn after this intersection I am planning to make a left turn and you can see the giveaway sign there so place your car as I am placing here and I am joining into a major road and there are car parts on the right hand side there could be kids or pedestrians suddenly appearing along the street there is also a car in front of it therefore go at a slower pace due to the front car this is an interesting situation so the question is if you need to follow the front car or if you will have to wait to sum up the answer to sum up the answer is not to follow the front car but to perform your own verification first in other words if the front car makes a mistake then you should not follow it this is very important from the point of view of an examination as well as for safe driving crawl at first then move little bit ahead and then see if everything is clear then you started moving you start moving now it's interesting look ahead there is a pedestrian passage but many people use it as a bike path while you don't have to give way to cyclist in this actual rule or actual Swedish driving rules you should not or you don't have to give way to the cyclist in this scenario but you must stop for pedestrians but at the same time be ready to stop if needed but in general you should go slow with the go a little bit slow so that bike or cyclist can pass now that I plan to take right turn at the next junction I should first change lane to the right side however the right lane is a boss lane so you need to be extra careful there are because in this lane there are taxis and uh, uh, all the private taxis as well as bus or all the public uh, public transport vehicles they come they usually come in this right lane so don't change lane 
suddenly check or do your verification and then you change the lane in the place where you change the lane each you can see there is a bus sign or bus lane in the row on the road and after that one you can change the lane therefore you can choose a lane after you see the sign where you are permitted to go there check the mirrors blind spot indicate and move it is also important to know how to position your car always stop your vehicle a little behind the traffic signal so that you can see it clearly if you move near to the stop line then the traffic light can be difficult to see so wait little bit behind to the stop line as soon as you pass the junction stop your indicator immediately otherwise you will confuse the following cars and confusion means it is the risk for the other cars or the surrounding there is a road on the right hand side and that joins just after the junction so following drivers may think that you are or you want to take another right turn if you don't stop indicating right away you should practice stopping your indicator just after a junction this is not a major road there is a pedestrian and a bike path parallel to parallel to it you don't have to worry about the speed limits but you need to be very careful of the pedestrians and cyclists as well and the right hand rule along the way you will encounter a number of shopping complexes and the parking lot for all of them all the vehicles coming from the parking lots for them it is a gate rules apply okay let's move on please please see this it's a big risk the boss is joining but that is not the risk or not the big risk from the left hand side of the road visibility is poor and here is a pedestrian it gets easily unnoticed and that's a big risk so if you don't notice in your driving test then it must be go wrong from your side so if you don't notice any pedestrians anyhow in the city driving that is a big risk and this is how you should behave in this situation there must be a natural braking and you must brake 10 meters before the pedestrians crossing to let the pedestrian know that you are waiting to pass do not crawl do not crawl i am repeating again do not crawl just slow down and stop but a com come to a complete stop it is often misunderstood that many drivers crawl and that causes confusion to the pedestrian otherwise you have to have an eye contact to the pedestrian so that you pass signal or you have a mutual understanding among each other now there is a bus stop and there is a bus stopping they are and dropping and picking up passengers and this is one of the most crucial situation how you handle in these situations and you must know how to handle it and how to how to drive in this how to drive perfectly in these situations be very careful when near the bus stop many pedestrians run to catch the bus or want to switch buses from buses on the other side therefore you should wait and leave the bus fast observe the pedestrians behavior and then move slowly in this type of situation don't get in a hurry it is extremely dangerous during the winter and in the dark when some people they don't wear the reflectors or the light and it is very hard to see and locate them so don't be in a hurry near the bus stop that is the that is the take away from this this type of situations there is an upcoming situation for the lane selection and this is very interesting and i would like you to pay close attention and my plan is to make a left turn at the upcoming intersection see the lane signs it is not visible until you get very close it's because it's hiding under trees when you want to make a left turn or go straight select the left left lane and when you when you are going to make a right turn select the right lane generally you find this find the opposite in general you find find this kind of situation the opposite generally right turn uh, right lane is go straight and right and left turn is go only left but here it is uh, different so each intersection or each junction you have to be pay attention to the lane sign this is a special case
Now I plan to make a right turn at the next intersection or next junction. There are parallel bike roads, one up. And in this situation, parallel bike roads are one of the risks. If a traffic light goes green, it is most likely also green for the cyclist and the pedestrians in almost almost the same time frame. So watch out for the blind spots before making a turn here. Very careful about pedestrian and the cycle crossing. And now there are trees on both sides of, of this road. Therefore, lot of shadows. It is thus difficult to see clearly for pedestrians and cyclists. Therefore, even if it's a major road with a maximum speed limit of 40 km per hour, go slightly slower to avoid any risks. There are a lot of uh, pedestrian crossing where you can see or we can, where you can observe lot of cyclists can cross. Okay, from the next junction, I am planning to take a left turn. Just be careful the green signal on the left will last for a very short time. So you need to be act a little bit faster here while being cautious of pedestrians on the left hand side. So here is another interesting section of the road. The speed limit is 30 km per hour. Maximum speed limit is 30 km per hour, but it's a major road with priority signs and with lots, lots of junctions and many pedestrians crossing. You should drive cautiously on this type of road. If you want to pass your driving test on the on your first try, as a rule, drivers are expected to drive safe and risk free. If the examiner will see that you are not driving safely or you are not driving in a risk free manner, then you are not going to pass your driving test. Afterwards, I plan to go straight and then turn right and then turn left and then park on the right side of the road. Make sure to watch it carefully. You must act on many things simultaneously, such as changing indicators quickly, watching for blind spot on both left and right sides, quickly scanning all details, all the area keeping an eye on pedestrians crossing and cycling cleast passes, etc. Now the parking. A good parking tip is to maneuver slowly so that it's easier that so that it's easier to fix. And this is it. I hope you enjoy this video 
and you learn something new about the city driving and about the different types of rigs and how to handle different type of rigs. So please give it a thumbs up if you don't like or you have some concern or comment then please write it below. It is very important for us to receive your feedback. It doesn't matter if it is positive or negative. Thanks for watching and I look forward to seeing you in another interesting video soon and I wish you all the best for your sore coat or sore cope. Till then, bye, hey do and have a nice weekend.